Hi guys and welcome back to another video now today. What I'm going to be bringing you is a video where we discuss the fact George Shikora has left Bradford City by mutual consent. Now we don't know which club he's officially joined yet. We'll speak a little bit about where he might potentially go later on in the video. But if you do go on to enjoy today's video, please make sure you drop a like on it. If you could try and hit 50 likes on today's video, that will be massively appreciated. Subscribe if you are new as well. We are on the road to 6,000 subscribers. So make sure you are subscribed if you haven't already. Get your post notification bell on as well so you never miss a video of when I upload. And make sure as well to drop a comment in down in the comment section down below. What are your thoughts on Sikora leaving the football club? And make sure as well to share the video around with with your family and friends now obviously uh, apologies about it being a little bit of a later upload obviously i have college on mondays and tuesdays so anything that does get announced during the day will unfortunately come out around six half past six something like that as soon as i can get it up it really all depends on buses and all that sort of stuff so i've come home straight away we're on it for you guys but yeah it's uh, it's never nice to see someone leave the football club especially someone who never really had a chance but from what i saw wasn't really up to the level Let's get into it. So at one o'clock in the afternoon, Bradford City tweeted saying, news we have today mutually agreed to cancel the contract of George Sikora to allow him to pursue other playing opportunities. Thank you for your efforts and all the best in the future. The article does then read, Sikora leaves by mutual consent. The young defender signed a one-year professional deal in the summer of 2020, having graduated from the City Academy after joining as an under-13 before pending a one-year extension in June. Sikora has turned out once for Derek Adams' side this season. Obviously, that's competitive. Competitively played a few times in pre-season, uh, but his competitive appearance was against Manchester United's under-21s in the Papa John's Trophy. I think we lost that game 3-0, I do want to say, uh, but he also served a spell on loan at Spennymore Town to turn at uh, uh, prior to the turn of the year. In total, the 19-year-old made six professional appearances for the Bantams, having made his first team debut in 2019. Sikora said, I would like to thank everyone at Bradford City who has helped me uh, and being a part of my experience over the past six years in the academy and first team. It was a mutual agreement between the club and I for me to leave with everything in my best interest and allowing me to play football elsewhere. Obviously, it gets him off the wage bill. It allows him to go and get some first team football. So it all really makes sense, to be honest with you. The club has enabled me to fulfil a childhood dream by, play by playing professional football and I wish it the very best for the future. Bradford City AFC would like to take this opportunity to thank George for his efforts at the club and wish him all the best for the future. Now, at the time of recording, he has hasn't found a new club to be playing at, but from the odd time I've seen Sikora play, didn't really quite seem up to standard. He seems like he's got a little bit of potential, but I think if he's a player who hasn't come from the academy, I don't think he gets the benefit of the doubt. Usually, obviously, you like to see players coming up through your academy. You like to see younger players being given a chance in the side. Well, I don't think he's done awfully, but I just don't really think he's up to first team standard. He's fourth, fifth, maybe even sixth choice central defender. So you've got Pordy and Canavan as your main two. Songo and Kelleher battling for that third place. Obviously, Songo is more of a midfielder. You've got Staunton who can play in there. Like, there's a lot of competition for George Sikora. And when he signed that new contract extension in the summer, I think it was before Derek Adams came in, Ryan Spike said that Derek Adams did have an input on the players who uh, signed new contract extensions because obviously it was done well before Adams came in. Um, but yeah, Sikora didn't really play all too much. I think he rem I remember him playing him against Brighouse in pre-season. He kind of didn't look great against them. I think they're tier eight, maybe tier seven. I'm pretty sure they're a tier eight side. So uh, he obviously went out on loan to Spennymore as well a couple of months ago, had his loan. I don't think he actually had his loan extended, did he? But he seemed to do pretty well for Spennymore. They seemed to enjoy him, thought he did pretty well for them. But he's come back and again, not really had much of an opportunity. I think we've now got a 26 or 27 man squad before he left. So obviously we need to trim that down a little bit. Players who just aren't playing and aren't really competing for places. It makes sense. As I said, it gets him off the wage bill. It allows him to go and explore first team football. I think he will probably go to a team in the Vanarama National League North, tier six, maybe even tier five if he finds, you know, maybe a lower level sort of side there. But spend him all. I don't think doing all too well in the National League North, but their fans seem to think he did well for them. So for his sake, I hope he finds somewhere where he can play some first team football and build up his career. Because he's only 19. He's very young. He has a lot um, of ability and a lot of time still to develop and grow as a footballer not too much to say on Sikora because he's not really been a, a key member of the squad he's just somebody who has left the football club and I just wanted to let you guys know about that give you guys some of my thoughts as well as I said I can't really say all too much because he hasn't played all too much his appearances have been few and far between so you know we can't really comment all too much 
if some fans have maybe been, I don't want to say it in the future, but if you're watching this when you, Sikora has signed for your football club, maybe a few days or weeks down the line, I would say, you know, he's a pretty quick central defender, uh, physically pretty decent as well. He's not the tallest of defenders, but he's still pretty decent in the air. I just don't think he was ever really going to be good enough for first team level. He signed his contract extension in the summer. You know, he did okay. He played a couple of games for his last season. I think he played the last game of the season as well against Morecambe. Um, he, he did okay by the sounds of things, but obviously, you know, we lost that game 2 0. Wasn't great. So I wish him all the best. That's all you can really do at the end of the day. It's not like we he's left on bad terms or anything. It is literally just so he can go and play some first team football and it gives us a little bit more money to spend in the transfer window. Fingers crossed, we'll have another signing in the next couple of days as well because we are now 17 days into the transfer window and only two signings, both loan signings. Jamie Walker seems like a great addition. Pereira, still yet to see him yet because he's ill. Hopefully, he's fully recovered from his illness by Saturday. Obviously, we've got Rochdale away. My match preview on that will be out Thursday unless anything else changes it should be out Thursday but that is where I'm going to leave it for today's video if you have enjoyed a like as always will be massively appreciated as I said at the start of today's video if we could try and hit 50 likes on it that would be massively appreciated subscribe if you are new as well we are now on the road to 6,000 subscribers so make sure you subscribe if you haven't already get your post notification bell on as well so you never miss a video of one upload let me know as well your thoughts on Sikora departing down in the comments below share the video around with your family and friends as well thank you for watching Thank you for the memories, Sakura. Have a great rest of your day, and I shall see you all very soon for another video. Peace.